Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. History is being made at the Global Pet Expo because of a fish that's on display here that's never been on display in the United States before. In fact, this fish, in a certain sense, never existed before, and that is an aquacultured yellow tang, a yellow tang born and raised in captivity. Researchers have been working for more than a decade to get it done, and the man who did it is here, and we'll talk to him in this FinCast. I use the Kimapir Elite and uh, Nuvo 16 and you know, a couple teaspoons on each, in a bag on each side and change it out like once a month and it just keeps everything pure and clean, no phosphates, everything's good to go. Uh, it's pretty much a worry-free system because of the Kimapir. Well, after 10 years or more of or of research, we basically succeeded in culturing the yellow tang for the first time. And so some of those fish are on display over here. Um, and the reason this is such a big deal is because it was the, the first time a uh, surgeon fish species has been cultured. Um, largely, it was thought to be impossible. Dr. Chad Callen has reason to be proud, standing in the Boyd Enterprises booth at the Global Pet Expo in Orlando, where along with the nearby display by Seagrist Farms, the aquacultured yellow tangs raised by his team at the Oceanic Institute in Hawaii were on public display for the first time. And so we're just really excited that we finally were able to do it, and uh, we were able to get significant numbers of juveniles and, and actually get those out to the industry. Uh, we received the fish about a week ago. Uh, we're really, really excited. I think one of the one of the best parts of it is that the industry actually put that much trust into Seagrest Farms to actually receive really what is the holy grail of marine uh, aquarium raised fish at, at this time. Uh, so we're really, really excited. We're, we think it's a, a true privilege to receive the fish from the first batch. Every time I see something related to aquaculture in this trade, it's really ex easy to get excited about it and to think, you know, what can we do next to help support that? Hence why bringing the Yellow Tanks here to Global Pet Expo and flying Chad Callen in from Hawaii to talk to store owners and distributors and dealers and rising tide, big players in the, in the industry. Callen showed me the fish in the aquarium which were grazing on live rock. Amazing since they'd never seen anything but plastic pipes in their rearing tank in Hawaii. And they're interacting with the other fish too, which is which is nice. You know, they, they haven't seen any other species. Uh, they've only kind of lived amongst their own kind, so they're kind of getting used to other other friends, and that's that's kind of cool to see too. I asked him how he finally did it. How did he get the fish beyond the larval stage where previously they had always died? There was no real one breakthrough. Um, it's really been an incremental process of trial and error with the larvae. Um, probably the biggest difference that recently occurred was the feeding regime for the larval fish where we overlapped a variety of different feeds for the larvae and that allowed them probably more choice of what they wanted to eat uh, at any one time and gave us the ability to finally get them through that, that difficult period. And so the, the video that you're seeing is uh, of those first juveniles basically schooling together uh, in their new PVC pipe reef. <laughs> Callan's team at the Oceanic Institute, with increasing collaboration from rising tide conservation, has now raised three batches of yellow tangs. Almost all of them distributed to public aquariums via Florida-based Seagrist Farms and West Coast wholesaler Quality Marine. Up next, he says, will be several more attempts and a scientific journal before hopefully commercial breeders can pick up the baton and begin growing the tangs in numbers that would support the hobby. So basically, what we've, what we've been able to demonstrate is that this is actually feasible. That this, this actually is a realistic possibility that these fish could be available to the industry as cultured. Um, but what we need to do is develop the method further so that it's really commercially f feasible. And so I think what the industry wants to see is that demonstration, and, and what we've, we're looking for is the industry support which he's already getting from Quality Marine and Seagrist Farms, which are donating money from initial sales back to the project, and from Boyd Enterprises, which brought Callan to the show. And we really need help from everybody in the industry when it comes to something like this. You know, here at Seagrest, we really didn't have the knowledge to know how to actually reproduce and grow the fish initially. And we need to return that investment to the people who, who can actually do that successfully. And it's going to be exciting to 
move this along and help support it, which we're doing financially, and, and of course with bringing out this to the public, it's really a great thing to do to it. So we agreed the other day to give Chad several thousand dollars to Oceanic Institute, dedicated for this research, and uh, hope that many other industry players will come up and pony up and put some money into it as well. Like I said, it's surreal. It, it almost doesn't seem real. Um, it's just, it's taken so long to get to this point that um, it's just, you kind of just are speechless. <laughs> so there it is, a look at what several people have called the holy grail of aquacultured American fish. It's been done three times now in captivity. The important thing is they know how to do it. Now they have to sort of ramp up production before they'll be available in a store where you could buy an aquacultured tang. But this is a great step forward. And I can tell you from talking to some other people that this same process is very close to working for the hippo tang or the dory tangs as better known and of course with the disney movie coming out there will be a lot of people talking about that so congratulations to chad callen at the oceanic institute in hawaii and uh, what an opportunity it was to interview him and to be here and see these fish at global thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next fincast